If you thought pirates were the only people to get scurvy, think again. In this video, we'll learn what causes scurvy and how it's still possible to get it. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, your go-to channel for short, easy to understand videos about the common medical topics that matter to you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, get involved in the comments, and check out the description below for links and resources. Let's get started. Scurvy has been affecting people for centuries, with documentation dating back to the eras of ancient Egypt and the Greek and Roman empires. But probably the most common example that people know about is with the pirates and sailors of the 17th century. You may also know that the treatment that was discovered was to eat lemons and oranges during their voyages. So what do lemons and oranges have that cures scurvy? The answer is vitamin C. Let's learn more about vitamin C and why our body needs it, then dive into learning more about scurvy and how it's still possible for some people to get it. Vitamin C, or ascorbic acid, is a water-soluble vitamin that is very important to helping several chemical reactions occur in our body. One of the key reactions where vitamin C is needed is in the formation of collagen, which is the protein that helps connect things in our body and is also found in our hair, skin, and nails. If you recall from the previous video about folic acid, if something is water-soluble, it means it will dissolve easily in our blood and therefore is not stored in our body. And like folic acid, we can't make vitamin C on our own, so we must constantly get it from our diet. So where do we get vitamin C in our diet? Citrus fruits like lemons, limes, and oranges are the most famous, but it can be found in a variety of fruits and vegetables, including tomatoes, peppers, strawberries, and broccoli. A healthy, balanced diet will provide you with all of the vitamin C you need each day. Now that we know that vitamin C can be found in several food sources, why do I bring it up? How is it possible that people can still get scurvy? Although a vitamin C deficiency is rare, the reason I made this video is because there are some vulnerable populations who are more at risk since they may not eat a balanced diet and receive the proper nutrition. So it's something to think about if you are part of these groups or take care of someone in these groups. These groups include the elderly, children, heavy smokers, those who consume large amounts of alcohol and or use recreational drugs, and those who eat very little, for example due to an eating disorder or someone undergoing chemotherapy who feels too nauseous to eat. Scurvy is a severe vitamin C deficiency, but it's still possible to experience symptoms with a mild deficiency. In both cases, these are some of the symptoms one might experience. Fatigue, inflamed, swollen, and bleeding gums, loosening of the teeth, corkscrew hair, which is where the hair grows in a very disorganized, kinked, and curly fashion, joint pain, easy bruising, little pinpoint bleeding around hair follicles on the body, and poor wound healing. Most of these symptoms are caused or impacted by the decrease in collagen formation. Luckily, the treatment for vitamin C deficiency and scurvy is simply to take vitamin C. Depending on the cause, the doctor will figure out the appropriate dose and length of treatment in order to bring the patient back up to the normal amount. A word of caution though before you go and buy extra vitamin C. Even though vitamin C is water soluble, it is still possible to take too much to the point where it's harmful and may cause symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, and kidney stones. The recommended amount per day for an adult over 18 years old is about 75 to 90 milligrams, and the maximum dose should not be more than 2,000 milligrams. There are several other vitamins and minerals that are important to have in our diet. So let's continue this video series with one more and learn about vitamin D. Stay tuned for that upcoming video. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.